you may have heard of inflation, but have you heard of shrinkflation? Shrinkflation is very interesting. So what happens is inflation, when the government has to increase the money supply, your money is actually worth less. So these companies, they can either sell the products for a higher amount of money, or what they can do is they can shrink what's the contents in it. And this may be very subtle. So you may go to the store and see something that's normally 18 ounces. And if it's 17 ounces or 16.5, you may really not notice it. A lot of times they'll put it in the same package and then just change how much is in there. So there'll be less inside the package. There's this great website over here on Reddit and it's called Strinkflation. And these people are posting pictures of actual shrinkflation happening. So in this particular picture right here, they have family size here, and then you can see the family size here. And this was four days ago, now five days ago. So they've been posting them regularly. And if you go down here, and some of these companies get really creative, like this one, this guy says it's gimmicky, but you can see down here the Klondike bar, and this is the original package. But now what they do is they say, hey, this is the new package. This is a new Klondike. But if you look closely, you'll see where it says 135 ml. And then you'll see right here, it's 100. So it's gone down in weight. And so that's a great way to do it. And this one down here, they just keep the same size package and just put less in it. They just fill it up less. There's one picture down here of a Dawn soap. and But you could see it really clearly that they were putting less into it because it's clear. This one right here, you can't really see it because it's uh, opaque, but it says 60 washes right here versus uh, the 58 now with the new one. And same here, they got new packaging, but when they got the new packaging, it went from 142 grams to 137. So keep your eye out for this. I'd love to hear if you've run into this uh, shrinkflation. This is 160 count on the paper towels and now it's gone to 140. There's some really other really good ones on here. Look at this, how they package the uh, salmon. And But if you look on the back end, it's just mayo. So like I said, they got to get really creative. And this one, big bottles sell better. Look at this huge bottle and you can see the contents of it. There's only 90 pills inside there. This is another good way that they do it. This is six inches, but you could clearly see one's uh, now the new one is smaller than the old one. This Old Spice hair gel, 2.64 ounces now to 2.22, 16% smaller. And this is an interesting one. This is shelving, and now you can see the new shelving is a lot smaller. And I guess one was zinc plated, which is a more expensive to do. And then they just, the other one's just black painted. This is another good one. So they just put these gaps inside here. So it used to be full with all these mints and now they redid the packaging with gaps in it. There's a salmon again, fudge rounds. This is, you know, 2.36 ounces, 50 cents. And so they kept the same price and just change the, uh, now it's down to two ounces. I like how they do these. So this is the, so it's the same size, but on now they just put a sticker on it that says XXL marketing. And here's some tea and they're just went from 20 to uh, 12 tea bags. Seems like you'd notice that pretty, pretty good. Now this is a, a gain laundry detergent and it went from 50 to 40 pretty big drop there and here's a toilet paper and, and they're just making it shorter so it may look the same size but uh, the width will be shorter and uh, there's another one down here it shows the inside this tube is actually bigger so you, you get less oh here it is here's the one I was telling you about Dawn so they just put less in it but you, you, can, <laughs> you can tell very easily on that one that's hilarious and here's Hot Pockets. You remember they used to kind of come out the side here. Now they're hidden inside the tube. They're not even big enough to come outside the tube. This is an interesting one. It says, clever bit of packaging redesigned from Yorkshire tea. Now, if we look at it, it says extra 50% free. Oh, that's greatness. I didn't catch that at first. 
This says an extra 50 free, and you can see it's 210 tea bags, and this is 240 tea bags, so you get 50%, so that's a lot more. And now you get 200 tea, 210 tea bags for the price of 160, 240 tea bags for the price of 160. Uh, I didn't catch that one at first. That's a really good one. Diapers got thinner six months apart, so same price, uh, same amount, but thinner diapers. And here's some cheese. Uh, it was seven ounces, and, or it was eight ounces, and now you get seven ounces for the exact same price. And they even said they, these were mixed on the shelf. So if, if you didn't look, you might grab this one and get it for 218, but you're getting it less. You could have grabbed the older packaging for uh, eight ounces. And this is what I was telling you about the toilet paper roll. It's clearly bigger. They're showing the new toilet paper roll is bigger, which you'd get less on it oh and this is a good one too it says haven't had a Klondike bar since I was a kid what happened here so same packaging same size but they put a big hole in the middle <laughs> this is greatness and two by four studs and I've noticed this too 1920 it's just the two by fours get smaller and smaller over time a baby shampoo shrank quite a bit Oh, this, is, this is the last one we're going to show because they just go on and on. But I would love to hear if you've seen shrinkflation. And so this guy, he gets M&Ms. And now this is the fun size, of course. And you can see it's sealed up. He hasn't opened it. This might have been a manufacturing defect, but maybe not. He opens it up and guess what's inside? If you guessed it one m and m <laughs> no that's got to be uh the biggest one the biggest one yet all right thanks for watching guys take care